What's up guys, we'll be doing a lot more BFS fishing today for crappies, but I am going to be using the chowder bait. This is the micro chowder bait, their Z-Man's chowder bait flashback mini, 1 16th ounce. But you see something actually different here. So instead of using their lure because uh, their lure breaks so easy, I actually got crappy magnet. I, right now I have the white and chartreuse one on but it comes into like many different colors. This is one of my favorite colors here, white and chartreuse and also black and chartreuse, especially in South Jersey if you guys love fishing for crappies. But I thought, you know, hey, this is a cool lure. I caught some trout, I caught one crappie from my last trip. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll slate a lot more crappies in this episode, but combining crappy magnet with uh, a crappy killing lure. These come into like a pack of uh, 15 bodies. Sometimes you get them like maybe a buy two get one free like at Dick's Sporting Goods so it's, it's kind of good. It actually stays on really well on this hook believe it or not even though it doesn't have a bait holder but uh yeah let's see how well we do today. I know you guys are gonna have some questions later when I bring out this tool but this is my D hooker it's called Unhook M. I got it from uh, the website you guys check out in the link below but uh it's a pretty cool tool you can see that right here that uh, it just hits the hook pushes it out and uh voila but uh yeah some of these smaller crappies sometimes it's hard to stick my uh, finger in there so I brought this with me just in case if I need to use that. All right it's not that deep but let's give you some more info it's 63.8 degrees on this lake. It actually was very cold yesterday and oof, the wind's crazy. I know they're on the beds the bass I'm sure the uh, crappies are too so I just need to look for them. Maybe I'll pluck a few of those fish off the beds. Oh ho, ho, first fish. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, it's a bluegill. You know, when there's bluegills, that's gonna be a lot of action, guys. Look at that. Let me just get a good grip on you. Off you go. First fish of the day. These walls are full of fish. Like, I just got, got another fish that just tapped me. There's likely a lot of bluegills, but you know, early in the spring, these walls are perfect for all sorts of fish because there's gonna be bugs that's climbing the walls, trying to spawn. You know, they, they molt and everything. And the fish just swim up and down these walls and just, uh, you know, nab free food. Bam. I think I might have gotten a slab. Well, not, not too slabby, but you know, that's exactly what I'm here for. These crappies using a chatterbait. Chatterbait crappies. Let's go. This is a black crappie. So as you see, it's hard to get him to give up the damn lure. So let me just grab this guy right here and um, just poke this guy through. Voila, got the lure out. Oh, in you go. Perfect tool for me. Got another fish. Oh, came off. All right, all right, all right. Depth is wrong. It's not 30 feet of water. Crazy. Fish, <laughs> fish, 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 fish. Oh no, it came off. It's probably a bluegill. Oh, fish on already. Guys, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about, guys. It's a slab. A lot of these crappies are spawning too. Look at the beautiful colors. They're on the wall because, like I said, it's free food. Also, it's easy to spawn for them. Look at that beautiful color. All right, something's wrong with my depth finder. I wonder if I put some mud in my transducer area. Fish! Came off. Came off. Hey, all right, dude, this is called the wall of slabs, all right, wall of slabs. Look at this male crappy. I believe it's the male crappy that changes black. I mean, look at this, look at this color. It looks amazing. Here, I need to do a quick photo for this. All right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. In you go. See you next time. Okay, guys, I'm gonna try something a little different. I'm gonna be away from the wall and just, just comb these water right here and see what happened. Cause I do see some activity here, like bait activity. I got a fish. Okay, so um, I guess the non-spawners are 
just chasing Chad as usual. Not a slab. I guess the slabs might be just, you know, protecting their uh, babies and stuff. But they're definitely, definitely out here. I could probably catch a million crappies today. Just, just chilling out in this open. I mean, the wind is terrible, so I might just paddle down that way and just let the wind blow me around for a little bit. And hopefully while it's blowing me, you know, I'll just cover some water, hook up some more slabs. Like I, I am getting taps here and there. And um, yeah, it's, just don't want to keep paddling all day. I mean, it's gonna be a leg workout day, if, if you're asking me. Got him. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. Oh, 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 easy. Easy breezy. All right. On the cheddar. All right, this wall is doing so good, but mainly small ones. I'm hoping I can find a big slab, but if not, I'm gonna move to a couple spots. Of course, if you guys haven't watched my other video, I was using the Mega Bass Okashira screw head with a K Tech on it, and I was slaying big ones. So I think the big ones are somewhere else. So I think uh, after a few more casts, if I don't catch anything from here that's a relatively good size, I'm gonna move on over. But I definitely want to fish that cove there because I know that cove uh, really well, has good fishing good slabs i think my first slab i ever caught uh on this lake was from there and uh, i was like around this time of year too so maybe they'll they'll spawn over there but uh we'll see the wind is not treating me well today Okay, okay. They're at the bottom, pretty much right on their beds, I guess. Fish them low and you'll get a few. Okay guys, we're gonna switch to the black and chartreuse version, just to give the color a different chance. The white one didn't, I mean, it did some damage, but uh, it's been beat up. So the rigging for this is very easy now. Again, this is a crappy magnet size, so what you want to do is just thread it through the whole thing and just in between the two little legs and let me just thread it through and I'll show you guys. But yeah, you just want the hook through that, just like that, and it will work. See that? Alright, let's give this guy a try. All right, the black one is working just as good. See how he deep throat that? All right, see if I can get this out easy. Twist, oh, it says twist. Oh, it works, <laughs> good stuff. All right guys, there's fish here all over the place. I think they're on beds, they bite and they drop. basically bouncing at the bottom that wasn't the one right there see yeah it's it's tough i might have to not use a chatterbait and actually just float like a, a jig head whoa 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 the line just went i don't have to drag or anything oh but i'm just gonna fight it as best as i can oh man dude he is going please don't lose it should i increase the drag should I increase the drag? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it's a carp. I snagged a carp. Crap. <laughs> oh no. This is gonna be like an hour worth of fight right here. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I thought I had like the world record bass here, but it's it's a carp. Oh no. Did he hit it? Wait a sec. I did not snag him. It's in his mouth. It's in his mouth. It's in his mouth. The way that he's swimming, it's, it's, it's in his mouth. Holy smokes. Oh man, I am gonna have to save this. this. Dude, he's gonna pull me like, 
Oh, I did it in the other lake. Ultralight BFS <laughs> carp. Oh no. I mean, look at this rod. It's just going. I am gonna go catch me a cop. All right, let's spin around. Let's see if I can get him up. Jeez, I don't know if you guys see this rod tip, but I'm bringing him up. It's in his mouth. It's in his mouth. Good, 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 good. <laughs> it's a small car, but he took it right in the mouth. Yo, Charles, hook him in the mouth, bro. Hook him in the mouth. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh snap. All right, I'm gonna stop this video for right now. Hopefully it doesn't go away. All right, I got him here close, but uh, gotta bring him in, gotta bring him in. See, I don't have a net. I don't think my brother has a net. <laughs> oh snap. Yo, a freaking carp, a freaking carp. Oh man, look at that. A freaking carp, he hit it. He hit this. Oh. Can you guys believe this? He actually hit the chatterbait. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. It's, it's funny. Like you never see this happen, guys. So I gotta unhook this guy. All right, man. He's like full of slime. Ugh. Into the water you go. Oh, damn! He just slid off my hand. I want to hold it a little longer, but uh, he didn't want to. Uh, legally, like legit in the mouth, yes. I snagged some big ones before. Oh yeah. Got a crappie with a chatter bait and the crappie magnet. What a deadly combo. <laughs> Tap. Got, oh, come on. Got him. Got him this time. Ooh, crappy, crapazoid. All right, let me just poke this thing out. I don't want to poke too deep. All right, I'm telling you guys, that's a useful tool. Got one. Got one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, got a crappy, got a crappy, got a crappy, got a crappy. Oh, 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 small guy. Is that a bass? You, did you just pull him out the bass bed? I think so. <laughs> no, that's a slab. Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> what a slab. Dude, they are spawning here. It's insane. Yo, I think I need to upsize. <laughs> yeah, you should. K Tech, look, yo, whoa, yo, that is a PB. That is PB right there. That's PB material right here. Peanut butter and jelly. Whoa, holy smokes! Look at that mouth. Look at that. Oh man, that is huge on a K Tech. All right, I'm gonna give him a photo, and you know, guys, give him a thumbs up, man. So guys, I want to conclude this video saying that this is an awesome lure, but right now I think uh, there's a lot of big crappies that's on their beds. And uh, the small crappies are kind of dinging this. The bluegills as well, they're tearing it up. I say it's a good lure. I definitely want to do a lot more BFS fishing with this Michael Chow bait for crappies. Chow bait for crappies, guys. You guys definitely need to try this lure. And if you guys are out of those tails from the original chowder bait, definitely do give crappy magnet a chance as a trailer. Now, one thing about these trailer, it is softer than the original uh, chowder bait uh, lure. And it doesn't have as much flash, but it's actually a good thing because the other one is stiffer and actually rips easier. Like I've been fishing a lot with the, the white one, caught a lot of fish with it. And um, the only reason why it's broken, is, you know, because it's, it's been pecked at by a lot of bluegills. But if it's just crappies and if they're not on bed, because right now, like the small ones, they're just pecking at it. They're not, they, they, they bite and spit, bite and spit. So I want to try something different. Try to catch those slabbers. So uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. And if you want to see more BFS crappy fishing, make sure you guys subscribe.